Hi there, welcome back to Being More. In our last video, we introduced ourselves to this amazing person called Nick Vujicic. Today, let's continue to learn more about him. From depression to independence. Remember, his parents decided to put Nick Vujicic in a regular school along with regular children. But you know how the world is. They will definitely bully you for being different. It's a very mean thing to do. You must accept others no matter how they are. But Nick was subjected to bullying. Yet, he rose above all that. He grew up and fetched himself a degree in financial planning and real estate. What does he say about it? It was very hard, but it gave me independence. How was it hard? Let's see. Nick was teased and bullied because he moved around in school with the help of a wheelchair and a team of carers were always around him to help him. This led to children teasing him. I was so deeply depressed when I was eight years old that he would run to his mother and he would cry and say he did not want to live. Now that is a very serious thing. Many times in life, we face situations that are so disappointing that we feel that there's no purpose in living, but that's wrong. That's the time you must reach out to your teachers, your parents, your siblings. You must build a support system around you. When you voice your concerns to them, definitely you will find a way out just like Nick. Let's see what happened to him. He was so angry with God for making him the way he was. And he was so terrified that today my parents are there to take care of me. But tomorrow, if they are not around, how am I going to live? He was so scared that he decided to take his own life. He tried to drown in the bathtub. But then, luckily, that didn't work out and he survived. But then, how did he come out of depression? finding inspiration. One day, when Nick was 13 years old, he read a newspaper article about a disabled man. What about him? A disabled man who managed to achieve great things and help others. That day, it dawned on Nick. This is my purpose. This is why God made me. I will become a symbol of hope to all those people in this world who are disappointed and depressed and who do not know how to go on in life. So, with the help of his religion, friends and family, Nick managed to pull through, that means to survive, to come out of depression and become an international symbol of, this is a lovely phrase here, triumph over adversity. That means winning over those unpleasant situations in your life and sailing through. He realized that God gave him this life with an abundant purpose of spreading hope and strength and courage and confidence among people who lack it. What does he say? I decided to be thankful for what I have and not get angry about what I don't. Because what you don't have is what you don't. But with what you have, you can do wonders. So always remember these words of Nick Vujicic. Look at him there, surfing. He's an amazing surfer and he's a big fan of water sports. He also does tricks on the surfing board while he surfs. Meeting Bethany Hamilton. I wonder who is that? We will come to that at the end of this slide. Once Nick found the confidence, the purpose of his life, when you wake up in the morning, you must ask yourself, what is my purpose today? What am I going to do today? That's very important because it gives you direction. You will know what to do. When you don't have purpose, you will just be drifting around aimlessly and you will not reach any goal. So then Nick would look into the mirror and he would think, what is my purpose? He wanted to concentrate on something good that he had. 
the challenges in our lives are there to strengthen our convictions. What he's saying is convictions are strong beliefs that we have in life. I'm going to do well in my 10th class exams. That is a strong belief. Now, there might be challenges that come along, something that stops your progress, something, your health problem, family problem, some challenges will come up. It's not always a smooth ride, but then challenges should strengthen your conviction. The harder it gets, the more you should think, I am going to do it no matter what. So Nick, in 1990, he won the Australian Young Citizen of the Year. The whole world was noticing how brave and how persevering he was. He never gave up. There are some funny things here too. Sometimes kids would come running up to him and ask him, what happened to you? Why are you like this? And Nick would say, cigarettes. Imagine that child must have thought, I'm never going to grow up and ever smoke a cigarette. And another funny incident, at a traffic signal, Nick was driving the car and another car stopped by and the girl driving was peering at him, wondering, why is this man like this? And what does Nick do? He looks back at her and he does a 360 degrees flip in his seat. And that girl is like, whoa, what was that? And she quietly sped away. So Nick never lost his sense of humor. Now, in 2008, he went to Hawaii where he met Bethany Hamilton. She is a surfing master. As I told you, surfing is gliding on the sea waves, standing on a board. But when she was 12 years old, she lost her entire arm to a shark bite. And that's where she taught Nick that surfing is not about having hands or legs. It's about your body balance when you're standing on that skateboard. Initially, Nick was terrified, but then he soon became a master of surfing. And see here, that 360 degree flip he did in the car seat, he does it on his surfing boat too. And the whole world was so amazed by it, he reached onto the covers of a famous magazine. Nick Vujicic, The Unstoppable. Look at that, the cover of the sports magazine. So Nick had a whole lot of a new life in front of him right now. He was famous, he was traveling all over the world, telling people how to grow out of adversity, how to forget what's the bad things that's happening to us and how to use the good part in us to achieve success. He visited different countries all over the world. He gave motivational speeches to all age groups of people. And then he moved to Los Angeles. If I fail, I try again and again and again. If you fail, are you going to try again? He's asking you that question. Don't think failure doesn't happen to anyone. If you see a successful person, you're only seeing his success. You haven't seen the thousand times he has failed before that. And each time he failed, he didn't give up. He got up again, did his work again, maybe in a little different manner, in a better manner, but he did it again and again till he succeeded. So Nick is asking you, if you fail, if you are not doing very well, will you stop or will you continue? The answer, you must not give up. You must continue to persevere. The human spirit can handle much worse than what we realize. You think a little bad thing happens to you and your body gives up but you don't know that your mind and spirit are capable of, of bearing much more. So remember that. It matters how we are going to finish. Do you know Usain Bolt? He's the world's fastest sprinter in the Olympics. So one reporter once asked him, what is the secret of your success? How do you win so many races? And you know what he said? We all start in a similar fashion, but I, finish well. So that's important. Start. Yes, that's very important. But then do not give up. Finish it 
and you will be the best. I tell people, when they fall, forgive yourself when you fail. It's okay. Tell yourself, it's all right. I will do better again. And Nick Vujic says that in this whole wild world, if even one person finds inspiration in my life story, if at least one person has improved his life, come out of depression and done well in life looking at me, my purpose in life is solved. These are a few snippets out of Nick Vujic's life. These are his motivational speeches when he visited India. This is Nick playing golf with the golf stick tucked under his chin. And that is Bethany Hamilton, the lady who taught him how to surf. Time for new words, meanings, yes, to be more, we have to learn more. Let's learn some new words here. A skateboard, a short narrow board with small wheels at each end which you stand on and ride as a sport on the roads. Yeah, most of you must have had a skateboard. Surf, it's an action to take part in the sport of riding on waves on a surfing board. Torso, the main part of the body other than the head and limbs. Chicken drumstick, the low part of the leg of a chicken that people usually cook and eat. Remember, Nick compared his tiny left foot to a chicken drumstick. A club, a heavy stick with one end thicker than the other, like the golf club Nick was using. A propeller, a device with two or more blades that turn quickly and cause a ship or an aircraft to move forward. So you must be your own propeller. You should move yourself forward in life, yes? Adversity a difficult or unpleasant situation. Do not let them bog you down. Defeat adversities with your confidence. Perseverance. This is a final outcome of this chapter and I want you to pay special attention here. The quality of continuing to try to achieve a particular aim despite difficulties. Yes, shall we promise to persevere and get good marks in your 10th board exams? Always remember what beautiful quotes Nick Vujicic had for us. I will see you again with some more amazing personalities. Abraham Lincoln, Socrates, our very own Narayan Murthy sir. What did they teach? When you fail, you learn to rise. In the next chapter, we'll talk more about them. See you soon.